My name is Barbara Oates. Uh, I've grown up in Coronella. I've raised my family here in Coronella. I currently own the Coronella General Store. We've got, what, we've got a population of around about 500 people, a mixed community, a lot of retired people, but also a lot of young families. I, I'm Kevin Hamilton. I've lived in the area for 86 years. And my father lived there and my grandfather too. We were all, all professional fishermen. We lived on fish. <laughs> the transition that's taken place in the Coronel Agenda over the last 50 years has gone from people earning an income to now using it as a recreational base. Life in Coronella is very relaxed. You come to Coronella, a lot of people start off by just coming down as day trippers. They end up staying maybe at the caravan park, end up buying a weekender and end up retiring down here. The Coronella Geordie has been very important because all the old fishermen always moored their boats to the jetty. That's where they always come in and went from. And they hung all their nets out on the rails on the jetty to dry. We used to have a lot of fun, always jump off the pier. And uh, I know we had a crane, we used to have the crane on the end. And they even kidded me into grabbing hold of the end of the hook on the crane. And then they swung it out over and left me there until I had to let go to go feet first into the water. So that's all the sort of things they got up to. <laughs> About five years ago, we found out that Parks Victoria were possibly not going to repair the lower tier of the Coronella Jetty. Hearing about this, and I just mentioned it at one of our local meetings that, you know, perhaps the jetty was going to be pulled down and we all dismissed it as just gossip, rumour mongering, made a phone call and found out that it was actually in actual fact true that Parks had had been granted money to demolish the bottom end of the jetty. Um, the locals were definitely not happy about it. Nobody could imagine the Coronella Jetty being cut to half its size. It had been such an icon. It's an icon in everybody's life. So I got together with a, a particular member of the community, Anwen Martin, and we made a phone call to Parks and asked to meet with them. Meet, after meeting with them, they explained that under no circumstances were they going to rebuild the jetty because they did not have the money. The conversation was that I would do my utmost to find out if funding was available. They came on board by saying, if you get the money, we will rebuild the jetty. I don't think he ever believed it would happen. And basically that's how the whole story started. It is the most valuable landmark for the township. It represents all the generations that have settled here and raised families, earned incomes. It's really a playground for us, for younger ones. Even my grandchildren love it when they come down to visit me. They love going out the jetty. They call it jetty jumping. They jump off the jetty. Usually when you go for a grant of any sort, it doesn't matter who goes for it, you have to have um, a dollar for dollar value. So the community realised that they would have to actually come up with some funding of their own. So that we went, then that started the, the campaign of raising money. Uh, the people that helped raise money were just general locals, local businesses. Uh, we sold books, zucchinis, lemons, any sort of produce, everything was up for sale. We ran um, a fishing competition, a junior fishing comp. We had a uh, big family day down here in January where we ran spinning wheels and you know, sausage sizzles. Everything went towards that jetty fund and we worked really hard for, I think, four months to achieve uh, a goal. We had to have as much money as we could in by the end of February and we had amassed $25,000, which went into um, our contribution towards the grant process. And the rest is history. The Coronel Jetty is part of everybody's family. It, it becomes part of your family as soon as you come down here. You talk about it. 
it's a destination. You go for picnics, you sit around the dinner table and you talk about what you've done on the jetty that day, you know. So it is, it's part of everybody's family. And it's there for future generations. Uh, most importantly, I know my grandchildren are going to enjoy using the second tier of the Coronella jetty. Uh, it'll be there for years to come. It's a real asset. Coronella would be lost without it. It's a real asset.